Group bias, also known as in-group bias or favoritism, is a common form of discrimination that occurs when individuals favor members of their own group over those outside their group. This bias can be based on a variety of factors, such as race, ethnicity, religion, nationality, gender, or even shared interests or hobbies. In this video, we will explore the concept of group bias, its causes, and its effects on individuals and society. The causes of group bias are complex, but often stem from social identity theory, which posits that individuals derive their sense of self from their membership in social groups. This can lead to favoritism towards those within the group, and discrimination towards those outside of the group. Additionally, societal norms and values that promote group membership and identity as important aspects of individual identity can perpetuate group bias. Group bias can have significant and negative impacts. Group bias at work can result in discrimination during the recruiting process or for promotions, which means that qualified people who are not a part of the favored group may lose out on possibilities. For people who experience discrimination based on group membership, this may also result in lower pay and job satisfaction. Group bias can have an impact on students' academic success and self-esteem in educational settings. Students who belong to a majority group typically receive higher grades and are recommended for advanced courses, whereas students who belong to a minority group may experience lower expectations and fewer opportunities for academic advancement. In educational settings, group bias can affect students' academic achievement and self-esteem. For example, research has shown that students who are part of a majority group are more likely to receive higher grades and be recommended for advanced courses, while those who are part of a minority group may face lower expectations and reduced opportunities for academic advancement. Additionally, group bias can result in bullying and harassment, particularly among young people, which can have lasting effects on mental health and social development. In social interactions, group bias can affect an individual's ability to form relationships and socialize, with people more likely to form friendships and romantic relationships with those who share their group membership. This can lead to social exclusion and isolation for those who do not belong to the favored group and contribute to the perpetuation of stereotypes and discrimination towards those outside of the favored group. To address group bias, it is important to raise awareness of its negative effects and promote diversity and inclusivity in all aspects of life. This can involve implementing policies and programs that promote equal treatment and opportunities for individuals regardless of their group membership. Additionally, individuals can work to challenge their own biases and assumptions about group membership and strive to treat others with respect and fairness regardless of their social identity. Furthermore, it is important to recognize that group bias can intersect with other forms of discrimination, such as racism, sexism, and homophobia. For example, individuals may experience multiple forms of discrimination based on their race, gender, and sexual orientation, which can have compounding effects on their opportunities and well-being. It is also important to recognize that group bias is not solely a problem for dominant groups to address, but rather requires a collective effort from all members of society. This includes individuals from both the dominant and minority groups, who can work together to challenge stereotypes and promote understanding and empathy between groups. In conclusion, group bias is a common form of discrimination that can have significant impacts on individuals and society. Its causes are complex but can be addressed through education, awareness raising, and policy changes that promote diversity and inclusivity. By working together to challenge societal norms and promote equality, we can create a more just and equitable society for all, regardless of their group membership. By promoting equality, we can create a more just and equitable society for all. That is all about the group bias. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel, Explified.